Hi, my name is Beyhan. I am SAP consultant and in this video I would like to show how you can run SQL queries directly on SAP database. For this we will be using SQL editor which is available under DBA cockpit transaction code. First we go to SAP and then we open DBA cockpit transaction code. Then we go to diagnostics and we open SQL editor. And here we need to write our query. Let's start with a simple one. And we'll be reading on the first 10 rows. Here is the output. Let's try another example. So this is a left outer join, which connects Mara and MCAL tables. Mara table is the main table for materials. MCAL is the main table for the material production versions. And here we are getting to all the data from Mara, regardless of if it exists on MCAL or not. So if you run this query, Again, we get the output. As you can see, material exists, but uh, production version doesn't exist. Still, we get this row. If we change this left outer join to inner join, then data needs to exist on both tables. So we won't be seeing the first material without version. Here, there's another example with a filter with work condition. And if we execute that one as well, we only get the data on the, on the works 2000. And what we can do is we can give a query name and we can save it. And if we need to use it again, just we can simply select from the list and we can load it, then we can run it. This is also quite useful. We can also run delete and update SQL statements as well. That makes this transaction code a bit dangerous because it doesn't run commit or rollback. So if you run a delete command, it immediately deletes the data from database. Even if you write the rollback command, it won't be rolling back to it to previous state. So you need to be careful. This is the main difference from SA16H. So if you go to SA16H in the debugging mode and if you enable editing with by using GD GD edit and GD sub edit parameters, until you save, change will not be reflected to table on SA16N. So you need to be careful if you are using this SQL editor to run update or delete command. It's, it can be quite dangerous. And especially if you didn't give any filter. So my advice to you, if you are, if you will be doing anything, first run a select with same conditions and check the number of records. Then use the same condition to do update or delete. That will be a bit safer. Here, another example for you to see the grouping. Again, we get the count from a Z table. And if you want, we can use the again select and delete comments. I will give you an example. So this is the key field. What I will do is I will delete this row. Now it is gone. And if you if I try to roll back it and select, it won't work. So I say roll back executes if i run the select count for the same label again it is gone so you need to be very very careful but again instead of using sa16h or sa16n if you want to do grouping counting joins and if you know what you are doing you can do delete update this tool might be quite handy so that's it with the SQL editor. That was a quite short video. I hope that's useful to you. Thanks for watching.